Okay, here we go. Here we go. On today's Radisode. <laughs> wow! <laughs> that is insane. Hello, hello, hello. I'm sure I look pretty. Is this my good angle? Mm, probably not. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just finished demoing the 2022 Instinct PowerPlay C70 from Las Vegas Cyclery here in Las Vegas. So big shout out to them. They now carry Rocky Mountain, so go check them out if you are uh, near or in Las Vegas. Rocky Mountain uh, is doing a demo tour and I got to ride the Instinct uh, PowerPlay. The Instinct obviously is much more of a trail, not quite enduro, but aggressive trail bike. Um, and it's an e-bike. Hey, what's that smell? Excuse me. Uh, and it's an e-bike. The Instinct Power Play, and it was a C70 that I rode, so that's all a Shimano XT group set, brakes, Fox 36, Performance Elite, I think, fork. I'll, I'll check the specs uh, and put them up on the screen for you. But um, it's 150 on the front, 140 on the back, so a little more suspension, uh, certainly than the Element or my Tall Boy, Santa Cruz Tall Boy that I have. Uh, but again, this is a, this is an e-bike review. So first of all, I just want to say, uh, e-bike haters out there, please just stop. Get on one. That's the first thing I, I tell you, ask you to do. Please get on one before you comment on how crappy they are, or they're no good, or you're cheating. What's going on here? Um, you've got a friend in me? Oh, that kind of cheating. Or whatever sort of things you're thinking. Yes, you don't want to have an e-bike rider riding beside a non-e-bike rider because that's not really fun or fair for the person that's a non-e-bike rider. Unless they're like super fit and they're just like can climb like the Dickens and you as an e-bike rider aren't necessarily a great um, rider overall. Then, then maybe you can. But in general, first of all, get out and try one. It was free, yeah. it didn't cost me anything. I just had to give them my ID. They're, they might be hacking it now that I think about it. Maybe they're, maybe they're selling my ID, my identity. Anyways, uh, demo one. Uh, find out when Rocky Mountain or whoever your bike brand of choice is, Santa Cruz, Specialized, Trek, they, a bunch of them do demo rides. Just go out and ride one, first of all. And as you're gonna see in this video, my SPH, smiles per hour, or LPH, laughs per hour, is through the roof with an e-bike, with this Instinct Power Play. So much fun. And you, like you can't, that's something to appreciate and enjoy. Like we all need more laughter and Open. <laughs> Smiles and enjoyment in our lives, especially in this day and age with this craziness that's going on and continues to go on. I don't want to get political. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it. But smiles per hour, man. Like riding is great. I love the outdoors. I love the the challenge of riding and pedaling and all those things. But having an e-bike or having access to an e-bike is it's so fun. And now I don't I don't own one. I I I I want one very badly. It definitely is not a necessity like a regular bike is because I, I thrive on, on mountain biking. But demo an e-bike before you have all this hate or, or disregard or whatever it might be. Now, there are e-bike riders out there that are jerks, that are dicks, right? That like zoom up on you on the trail and they're trying to pass you or they're aggressively on your butt and um, or they're coming down full speed at you. And yeah, but there's there's dick, dick riders on either side of the scale riding a regular uh, mountain bike or an e-bike. So, you know, there's always going to be a-holes out there. So, so, so put that aside. But an e-bike to me is like, it brings me so much joy and smiles on the climbs or even the flats, right? Another rider up there. Oh, this is insane. Uh, see, and the thing is, normally I cut left there. I don't need to when I got this bad boy.
is that <laughs> is that like I'm in a hurry because I'm demoing I'm only supposed to have it for an hour so having ludicrous mode it's so cool oh stop here for one sec okay so fun oh it's, it's trying to push me Oh, every, that's what it is when I try and push on the pedal. If I push on the pedal, it starts to want to go. It's like, come on, let's go, man, let's go. Bear's best. All right, we got to keep going. Better than the road. Let's see how this handles. I'm going to turn the ludicrous down. There, trail plus. Which I don't really need, but again, I'm kind of in a hurry, so I want any of the little uphill sections. And drop. Oh yeah, that felt good. Definitely better than the, the element wood on that. And probably a little bit better than my tall boy too. I bet it takes a real bit of time to figure out how to kind of best um, well ride these things. All right, now we're gonna go down a little black called slot machine seat down. Oh yeah, that felt good. We go flying through here. <laughs> yeah, you can feel the bigger suspension on this than my tall oh boy. I, I, I felt it has more suspension. The geometry geometry is a little slacker than my tall boy, but I didn't feel necessarily much better on it overall than I do on something that's like if it was a non e-bike. Uh, and that's probably mostly just the weight. You know, getting used to the weight. That the Instinct Power Play is around 48 pounds, so it's it's pretty heavy. My tall boy is like 30 pounds, so you feel that weight, and it it takes getting used to. So on the downhill. Having an e-bike doesn't necessarily really help you. I mean, it does keep you a little more planted because of the weight. That's nice, but it, it takes getting used to. Pretty nice. All right, so this is 0% uh, help. So this is all me. Oh no! And it's a bit of a downhill. But yeah, no, I can feel it's not, it's not giving me anything. Yeah, this just feels like a very heavy uh, bike, you know, when it's obviously on zero. So all me, ooh, yeah, I can feel it now. Oh, it's just like, ooh. you would not want to have to pedal it in zero very much, but it's doable for sure. I mean, this is all, this is a bit of a slight downhill, a little flat section. So, yeah, it's, you know, 50%, 60% heavier than my tall boy. All right, enough of that. Now we're at Eco. It's 25. Yeah, so this is probably Eco. Be best to use. 
on trails like this, right? So if you're going for a long ride, just conserve battery, give yourself a bit more of a workout, all that good stuff. I'm not going to do that drop because it's pretty flat. You can feel the weight for sure when doing a little drop or jump. So yeah, this, this eco mode is great. This kind of feels like riding my tall boy in terms of the energy I'm having to use. So Eco, which is the lowest setting, well, second lowest setting. So it's the, the lowest assisted setting. Kind of feels like what it'd be like on my tall boy. Like I say, for energy expulsion. Because my tall boy is almost 20 pounds, 18 pounds lighter than this. So it's easier to push pedal yeah you're cheating a little i guess if you use a an e-bike but again are you cheating if you burn the same amount of calories and you just end up doing twice the distance or maybe not twice but one and a half times plus the distance i'm back to trail And this again is the instinct, so yes, it's an e-bike, but it's also good to keep in mind that it's an instinct, which is kind of their, their all around, look at all these butterflies, not butterflies, uh, chipmunks, <laughs> flying chipmunks, look at all the flying chipmunks, ah! Okay, now we're going to go down this little chunky area, go down to 25%. Let's go see how it feels. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I was talking about the Instinct. Yeah, in terms of the brand or the, the lineup, it's kind of their, their all mountain quiver as they call it. But this is what I was saying about, oh man, like getting way more distance in. Chunk. Oh, that handles that nicely actually, even though it's heavy. Nice. That handles that really nicely. So yeah, this is 150-140 suspension. This is a tough kind of one minute climb. This feels like Feels kind of like, like my my Yeti SB150, you know. Just used to be able to. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh, what was that? Huh? Well, there you go. That wasn't good. Make sure it's okay. I don't know if the chain just fell off or. Maybe a rock, a rock got in there. Huh, sorry, Rocky Mountain. I don't know if that was my fault or... Yeah, I might've just bounced. Chain might've bounced or a little rock might've got in there. Anyways, we're good now. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Wow, that is nuts. Okay, we'll go this way. He had no idea I was buying him. <laughs> it's fine. I don't know if he's got headphones on or what. But, okay, here we go. Let's test this bad boy. <laughs> I will say, you really pick up speed fast. And so, 
things. When you get in a little chunk like that, oh, it, uh, you gotta be on your toes, man. Oh. Here we go. Cool. <laughs> wow. That's so good. <laughs> oh man, that is cool. It's like, I have a hard time figuring out what gears to choose sometimes, you know, because it just gets going so fast. You gotta gear up so quickly. It's great. But yeah, definitely different. Especially going up on the going uphill. <laughs> That's usually a total grind. Wow. So fun. Definitely is a different type of riding and feel, you know, which it should be. And it's en engine powered, not legs and lung. Oh, Jesus. Legs and lungs. That was my toe. Cracking on the rock. Now, quickly reviewing the Instinct Power Play. Really enjoyed it. The group set was great. Uh, that C70 I think is around nine grand. I'll, I'll check and, and let you know. I think they start is like the A30 maybe. That's so aluminum frame. Going aluminum versus carbon on an e-bike. I mean, yeah, you're saving a couple of pounds maybe, uh, maybe a little bit more. But like, like to me, why not save the money? You don't need a carbon frame. A carbon frame is stiffer. Uh, you get a little more flex with the aluminum frame. So depending on, on kind of how you like to ride um, and what kind of bike you like to ride, I wouldn't worry about the carbon frame on, on an e-bike uh, if you're only thinking about weight savings. Because it's 48 pounds. So if you have a 48 pound uh, 9,000 bike or you have a 51 pound or 52 pound, let's just say, you know, an A, A50 with a fairly similar group set uh, and components, uh, but you're going to save three grand, four grand, no brainer. You could save that money and then turn around and buy a, a, a lightly used uh, element or tall boy or whatever for that savings and have, have your two bikes. I last rode an, inst I think it was an Instinct Power Play, their first version back in 20, 2018, I think it was, uh, in California. And I really enjoyed it. I, I really, it was really fun. But they've come a long way. And I think the biggest difference now is, as they explained it to me, uh, Sam and retired Beverly Hills Fire Department guy <laughs> with Rocky Mountain. They, they've changed the motor now and the torque in the, the engine so that it's a more natural feel. So when you start to pedal, it starts to go with you. And, and as you stop your pedaling, it stops powering too. Some other bikes and certainly older versions of the Instinct, including the one that I demoed a few years ago, you would pedal and it would kind of either jump ahead uh, or it would have a quite a bit of lag, one or the other. And then as you'd stop, it would kind of keep going for a little bit. So it'd be like you're pedaling and, and then you'd stop and it'd be like, you know, like keep going. So it's a lot smoother and a lot quieter. I'm going to be interested to hear this. I haven't listened to the video yet, but I, I found it really quiet. I didn't have headphones on or anything, but that engine was like, it was quiet, right? Um, some other e-bikes I see, you know, zooming around, you can hear them quite a ways away. So I, I like the quietness. I like the, 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 the natural torque feeling. I like that it had five settings on your own. So 0%, you're just pedaling a 48 pound all mountain bike. You, you had Eco or Eco, so that's gonna last a long time. That's pretty similar, I felt, to riding my tall boy in terms of the weight difference, you know, 48 pounds to 30 pounds, just comparing the two in terms of just general feel and output. Then there's the trail, which was like 45 or something. Then there's trail plus, which was I think 70. And then there's ludicrous. That's a hundred and smiles per hour. Definitely go up considerably in ludicrous, especially going uphill. Wow. So fun. 
but it gives you that option, right? Really nice to have that variety. Uh, you know, I don't know how long the batteries last between the different modes. You're probably going to be using all of the modes um, as you ride, as you get familiar with the bike. I tried all of them and, and mostly kept it in Trail Plus, uh, I'd say the most. So the group set was great. The feel was really good, you know, coming down, doing some drops, you know, I felt the extra bit of weight, but the suspension really took care of that. Like it felt more plush, certainly than my tall boy did. And having 150 and 140 versus 140 and 120 on my tall boy, it made a big difference. And, and part of that, I'm sure, is the weight, right? Like it, it, it accounts for that and, and helps it. I was riding a large. I'm 5'10". Think a 31-inch inseam. That felt totally fine for me. I probably could have got away with a medium. I've ridden medium um, Rocky Mountains before, and they're fine. Uh, they're a little tight for me. So, you know, check, check their website, uh, depending on what size you are. But I'd say being in that like 5'10 category, you're, you're on either side. So it depends on if you just want a, a slightly longer feel bike or you want something more compact. For me personally, I potentially would buy the Instinct Power Play, like I say, maybe the A50. I think that's around 6,500 maybe. I'll have to check. But I could buy the medium in that because I think the, the height range is like 5'6 to 5'10. I could buy that. And then, and then I could get my wife to ride it. Shh, she's in there. I don't think she can hear me. But uh, then she could potentially ride it. So I could ride my tall boy. She could ride it. And and I have my son as well. He could he could, he could pedal. Damn it, he can pedal. Make the boy pedal. <laughs> I personally wouldn't spend the nine thousand for the version I rode um, just to get the carbon frame. I, I'd be more concerned with with the components, right? I want to make sure that I have a good fork and I want to make sure that I have good um, components, uh, you know, your, your gears and, and your brakes. Don't necessarily need all XT. I, I'm, I'm good with the S SLX. I've heard great things about SLX component. I haven't tried them yet, but I've heard really good things. So save the money and, and buy that. But overall, love the Instinct. It was great on the, the climbs, obviously even better than the element um, and it was great on the flats overall love the bike it was great um, highly recommend it and uh, get out there demo it before you judge until next time peace <laughs>